Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today I'm so excited to be bringing you another fabulous collab, my darlings, Charlotte Tilbury. We're doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury, talking about the products that we have, the ones that we love, the ones that are okay, and the ones we could kind of just pass and kind of do without. So I'm not doing this alone, I'm doing this with three other amazing women. We have Mel Thompson, who I absolutely adore. So thankful that I've had the opportunity to get to know her and call her friend. Then we have the Kelsey Brianna J, my girl, my Sora, like Kelsey girl, that is what I call her. She's my Kelsey girl, I love her too pieces and then we have mary from glitzy fritzy and y'all she is by far one of the funniest people i know but she's so genuine and kind i'm so grateful that i've had the opportunity to get to know her better and i cannot be more excited to be working with these women and collaborating with these women on such a great topic because if you did not know I myself am a Charlotte fan. And so I love Charlotte Tilbury. I have a plethora of products here that I'm so excited to be able to share with you, give you all my thoughts, share with you what I like, what I don't like, what I might like, and so forth. So stay tuned through the end of the video. You'll definitely wanna go and check out the other ladies' videos to see their products, see what they like, recommend, suggest, and then, you know, things that they'll tell you, you can go ahead and pass on to save your coins. But before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe and join the Glam Girl Squad over here. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Thank you for deciding to come back for all of your likes and comments. It really does mean a lot to me and I really do appreciate it. So let's get into this video. Okay, let's start off with a little bit of primer. So Charlotte Tilbury has a product called the Wonder Glow. Now this is a deluxe sample that I got from a recent order that I placed at Charlotte Tilbury. And I actually have purchased this product before and it's okay. It's a primer with anti-aging properties that creates an instant soft glow focus. And like I said, I purchased this product and I liked it, but I didn't love it. So it is one of those products that I would say you don't need to have in your arsenal. Um, it's a product that looks nice on the skin, but it's definitely not something that I feel is like groundbreaking and that's like you have to have it moving on to the product that i think is so worth the money i have sung its praises literally for well over a year now so i'm not gonna waste too much time but we have the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter i wear mine in the shade six dark tan and this if you've ever heard me talk about this you already know what i'm about to say it's magic in a bottle so this is a primer ish glow ish foundation-ish type of product. I say all of that because it really isn't a specific type of product. You can use it however you like. So the way that I like to use it is I like to put it on my face, like you see here, blend it into the skin. And it leaves such a juicy, glowy, hydrated look to the skin. Every time I wear this, I feel like I look like I drink tons of water, um, eat vegetables and fruit, and you know, pretty much like a raw vegan. Like I'm just really treating the body good. That's how I feel every time I wear this. It's gorgeous. It has just the slightest hint of coverage. So like, I don't know if, if you noticed, but I had some redness around my nose. That redness is dulled down just a bit. So definitely not covering anything, but it has a tinge of color to it. So it can act as, you know, the lightest tint. But I feel like, now I feel like this, did more to my face than the Wonder Glow did. It's luminous, it's gorgeous, but it's not overly greasy. I have mixed this with my foundation. It's just an all around phenomenal product. On to foundation. So two foundations that I really do enjoy. My favorite of the two foundations that I have is the Light Wonder Foundation. I wear mine in the shade Nine Dark, and this is such a beautiful light to light medium coverage type of foundation. I love wearing this on days when I wanna go for a lighter look. For today though, we're gonna go in with the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I actually have this foundation in two shades. So I have the shade 10 in and this is 10 warm. So 10 warm, I purchased this foundation when it came out last summer. 10 warm is a little warm for me when I don't have a tan. 10 in actually is a pretty good shade match for me now. So I'm gonna use that today, but this is what it looks like. But the packaging is so gorgeous and luxe. 
Um, she did much better with the shade range in the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This foundation, I like it, but it is definitely not a favorite of mine, simply because it is really thick. Um, so whenever I do wear this foundation, it is literally for days where I'm going for a fuller coverage type of look. But as you can see, um, if you apply too much, it's definitely streaky. And it just does it. It takes a minute to blend it in. Like I put on too much today. So it's taking it a while to really blend into the skin. So it's, it's, it's a really, it's a pretty foundation, but it's not one that I would be like, oh my gosh, you have got to go out and get that one. I am impressed with the wear of it. Um, and I will say that the more you wear it in terms of throughout the day, it does settle into the skin, but it's just not one of those foundations that I'm going to reach for every day, typically because I prefer medium coverage foundations that really do kind of mesh well into the skin, blend into the skin, and look a little more natural like versus looking like a foundation. Just to show you quick swatches, if you are interested in this foundation and you're trying to decide, should I go with 10W or 10N? I'll just show you a quick comparison of the two. So here we have 10N and 10W. So as you can see, 10N, in my opinion, looks a lot more yellow versus 10W does look more warm, does look, in my opinion, a little more neutral warm if that makes sense is there a neutral warm <laughs> um but the 10 and i feel looks more yellow i don't think it looks neutral now on to concealer the concealer that i have that i absolutely love is the magic away concealer as you can see i have used a good amount of this and i'm almost done i have the shade 910 first of all this takes forever to pull off um this is the applicator of the concealer I don't like the applicator because I feel like, I don't like sponge applicators. I just prefer like a wand, um, but you twist it up and that's how the product comes out. And then you can apply it onto the skin. So this concealer is a really great concealer for everyday wear. Um, when I first got this concealer, I wore it all the time because I loved how it looked under my eyes. I liked that it worked well for medium coverage foundations, lighter coverage foundations, and so forth. And um, it really lasted throughout the day. Very comfortable to wear. I would say this has more of like a satin finish, so not drying under the eyes, which is something that's very important to me. Um, and overall, I just really enjoy. On to another product that I am like obsessed with, Charlotte Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. If you have not tried this, let me tell you, this is the one thing that you should try, especially if you have dry skin or you don't like powder because you don't like how powder can sometimes make your face look cakey or make it look too dry. This powder does not do that. It is such a beautiful finishing powder, but it also does set your concealer and that's why I love it. So I just go on with about this much, not too much. And I wear the shade medium. I can wear the shade medium, honestly, all over my face, but I primarily enjoy this uh, powder setting my T-zone. But on days where I just wanna use one powder, then I will definitely use this powder all over my face. And it just, just sets the face so beautifully leaves such a beautiful veil. One thing that I'm also impressed with with this powder is that you can definitely touch up with it and it doesn't make you look cakey. It doesn't make your makeup look old. You know how sometimes um, you've had your foundation on for a long time, your oils are breaking through, you go and put powder on top and your like your makeup just looks old. Like I should take this off and start all over. This powder does not do that at all to your skin. It's so, so beautiful. So today, I'm gonna just use this powder to set the rest of my face. Let's go in next with bronzer contour. So I have the Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette in the shade Medium Dark. And this is a product that I kind of felt like that about. I wanted it for so long because I'm gonna go in with, I'm going in with the Sculpt shade and I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring. I wanted this product for so long because everybody raved about it. Everybody raved about it. It was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. You know, it survived everyone's declutters. And so 
I got it in, y'all, I really don't use it. It's a beautiful product and it's a beautiful formula, but it's just not like, I don't know, it's just something about it that I don't reach for. I'm glad that I've tried it, but I'm definitely not gonna recommend this as a must-have product from Charlotte. I can use this to bronze with, but as you can see, or hopefully you can see, this shows up more neutral-like, um, almost even just a little cooler. So this is a product that um, I think works nicely to contour with. Just to give you swatch references, so here is a swatch of the contour bronzer shade. Here's a swatch of the highlight shade. The highlight shade is really beautiful. It blends into the skin. It's a really nice soft highlight um, that you can build up onto the skin or you can wear it nice and a little more sheer light for just a really beautiful glow. I've actually reached for the highlight over the bronzer contour in this palette. Now a product that's worth all the hype that I highly recommend to you all are these new Charlotte bronzers. Oh my gosh, y'all. OMG. I did a full review on both bronzers. I had the shades medium and tan and I also purchased the Desert Haze eyeshadow palette, the matte eyeshadow quad. So I'll go ahead and link that for you right here if you would like to go and watch it. So I thoroughly recommend these bronzers. The formula, so this is a shade medium. The formula is just as smooth and soft and silky as the Airbrush Flawless Powder and it's phenomenal. $55, we get a ton of product in the pan it comes with four shades of the bronzer. Just to give you some quick swatch comparisons, just very, very quick. So here is the um, Filmstar Bronze and Glow Contour Bronzer shade. This is the shade Medium from her newest bronzers, and this is the shade Tan. So I think for today's look, I'm just gonna mix the two. But these powders are so easy to blend into the skin, and they just, there, she really did such a great job formulating these bronzers. So on to blush. So I have a couple of blush options and I'm really excited about these options. Okay, so the first blush option that I have and absolutely adore is her Lovegasm palette. So this came out last year and we got a bronzer and then these two blush shades and a highlight. And hopefully, as you can see, I have loved on this palette so much just this is by far one of my favorite products from the brand. The highlight is gorgeous. The um, blushes are so beautiful. This bronzer shade is the only, I would say, disappointment in the palette because I can't be tan at all for this to show up. So that bronzer, I typically just only use it in the winter time or I just don't use it at all when I reach for the palette because it's really not gonna show up on me too well. It takes so much building up. Just to give you some quick swatches of it, there's that bronzer shade, here's the highlight shade, and then the two blush shades. So typically when I wanna wear a blush from Charlotte, that's what I reach for, but I just recently picked up one of her Cheek to Chic blushes in the shade Pillow Talk, and here she is. I have not swatched it, you guys, not touched it, not done anything, so we're gonna do this for the first time on camera, and I'm really, really excited. So I've heard about these blushers for so long I feel like I know how to use them even though I haven't used them yet but you have your outer shade is going to be your blush shade if you will and then the lighter shade in the middle is what you typically are to pop on your cheeks or you could just swirl your brush all in it and you know get the color that way so let's do a quick swatch so we have the outer blush shade here and then here is the pop shade so I'm gonna go in first with that, I'm trying to go in with the outer shade first, just to see how that looks on my skin. Okay, so that's a nice light pink color. Okay, that's cute and subtle. Let's go in with the pop shade. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like. Y'all know I love me a glow. That's cute. She's cute. She's cute. And I'm glad to know that this actually shows up on my skin. It is a little cooler, cooler in tone um, than what I would go for on a normal day-to-day -day basis, but I am, I am glad to see that this, this works. For this face, though, I want a little bit more warmth. So I'm gonna go in with the Lovegasm palette and go in with this shade. 
And I'm gonna use that right along here, just to kind of, yeah, just, ooh, I added a lot. Wasn't expecting to add that much. Just to kind of warm my cheeks up a bit. For highlight, I definitely do wanna go in with this beautiful gold shade from the Love Guys, from the Love Guys and Palette. Okay, let's bring us in so we can do the eyes. Alrighty, so for today, I have for the eyes actually three palettes, but I'll be more so really working with one. So I just picked up the Pillow Talk palette. I'm so excited for this one because I have been wanting this for a little while. So I finally got it. So here's the packaging, so stunning and pretty. And then I love that she's broken this palette up into four mini trios. This is a look for day. This is a look for desk, I'm assuming work this look for a date night and then dream. Oh, scrumptious, I love it. Cannot wait to play with this one. So this is what we're gonna use primarily today. But I also do have the Desert Haze palette, like I said before. I've already given this some love and I haven't even had it that long. So go ahead and check out my video where I use the bronzers if you wanna see how this one looks in action. And then the palette that I've had the longest that I love it, it's an icon palette. Oh. This palette is just so pretty. I thoroughly enjoyed using this palette. This was my first Charlotte Tilbury palette. And even though all of the shades in here are shimmer or shimmer-like, I love that you can really use this palette as a whole. You don't have to reach out of this palette to get a full eye look. Absolutely love it. Okay, so I went in and started this eye look off with a brown or coal eyeliner wasn't or isn't Charlotte Tilbury, so that's why we didn't see it in action. Now going in with the Pillow Talk palette, let's go in with this shade right here from the Date Trio. Nisa has a nice transition color, so just taking that above that liner that I laid down and wanting just, like I said, add a little transition. When I swatched this, I was so impressed with the creaminess of these shadows and the formula. I was like, oh yes. I feel like I am going to thoroughly enjoy this just off watching it. Now I'm gonna go in with this darker shade in the Date Trio and concentrating that right here on the outer edge of the eye. Kind of filling in that space. Now going in with this pink shade right here, and I'm going to, ooh, this is vibrant. Just pack this all over the remaining portion of the eye, just about. Now we're gonna go in with this shade right here and pop that in the center of the eyelid. Then reaching into the Icon palette and going into that shade right there and taking this into the inner corner right here and blending it into that other shade. And just giving this look just a little bit more oomph. Go in with this shade right here and use that to fill in the gap of the inner corner of the eye right here, kind of bring that up. Let's go in with this shade right here and just add that to the center of the lid just to like give it a little bit more dimension to the look. Let's go back in with this more bright pink color and starting on the lower lash line more so around the middle of the lash line let's go in with that darker shade again and we'll concentrate that on the outer edge of the eye and then let's go in with this shade right here and use that for the inner corner of the lower lash line. For the inner corner, let's go in with this shade right here, just to brighten it up a little bit. 
yeah, that's pretty. And then for my brow bone highlight, let's go in with this shade right here. I tend to like a nice, more like cream matte shadow for my brow bone. So I think this will be a nice color for that. Okay, so I'm going to finish off the eyes and then we'll come back to finish off the face. Okay, so everything is on my face except for a lip. So I'm going to go in with a lip liner. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Pencil in the shade Pillow Talk. And this really doesn't show up so well on me, but I wanted to put it on for people who are about my shade complexion and are interested in this particular shade. So the lip liners are really nice and creamy. I would definitely recommend the lip liner if you're looking for a lip liner that's kind of creamy, but but that will also leave you with a matte finish. I could definitely, you know, pop a gloss over this and be done. But this particular shade is just not a shade that I would say, oh my gosh, you have to have it. Of course, if you are of a lighter complexion, then this shade will look better on you in my opinion, because I've seen it on people who are lighter and it looks really beautiful. But I am gonna go in with this lipstick. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Blushing Dream. And I think this is just stunning. As you all know, I love me a pinky nude, love pink lipstick. So I love this just like really beautiful, light kind of like bluish pink lipstick. Um, definitely still falls in a neutral family, but I do think it pairs very well with this eye look that I have going on. I have this other lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hot Lips 2 lipstick in Glowing Gin. And I'm just gonna put this on the perimeter of my lips. Um, but I really do like her lipstick formula. I have three of her um, lipsticks. They're very creamy. They're very soft, very luxurious, and I really do enjoy them. And you guys, that is it. I was so thoroughly pleased with this Pillow Talk palette. I cannot wait to use this again with you all. I love the colors in this palette. It is definitely a palette that I would consider... Um, one that I would use every day because I know I love these types of shades. I love pinks. So this would be a, a this would be a pal that I would reach for on an everyday basis, but also when I want to kind of amp it up for like a look that we have today. Really enjoyed my eye look and the way that it came out and the way that the eyeshadows performed on my eyes. The mattes blended out really beautifully and I loved how the shimmers showed up without me having to spray them or do anything to get them to really show on the skin. I really enjoyed all of the products that I used today and I would recommend all of them except for probably these two products, the Wander Glow Primer and the foundation, the airbrush foundation. Those would be the only two products that I would say, hey, save your money on. There are other options that I like better if you're looking for, you know, a fuller coverage foundation or some type of glowy primer. Everything else that I use today, I would highly recommend. With my top three being number one, the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Number two being the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And then number three, the bronzers. Those would be my top three of what I think if you're going to spend your money on any of these products, I think you would be very satisfied with those and you would not feel like you wasted your money. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this finished look. I really do enjoy this finished look. To me, it looks very Charlotte Tilbury, very flawless, you know, put together, airbrushed, as she would say. Um, definitely check out Kelsey, Mary, and Mel's videos. I can't wait to see the looks that they're gonna create. Take a look at the products that they have and that they recommend because clearly, I don't have all of Charlotte's products, so I'm still out here trying to figure out what else I should pick up to add to my collection. But definitely check them out. Tell them that I sent you over there. If you are not already subscribed to their channels, you should be. So go ahead and do that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.